Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a thriller, drama, and action film from 2002 called Panic Room. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Meg Altman, a recently divorced woman, is house hunting in New York. She finds a listing of a house and visits it with her 12-year-old daughter, Sarah. The owner had died a few months prior and was a multi-millionaire. Meg learns that the house underwent multiple renovations. When they reach her potential bedroom, she's shown the panic room. The previous owner had it installed as a safety measure against intruders. The room is fortified with concrete and steel on all sides and features a thick steel door. It also boasts a phone line independent of the main house line and an extensive security system with cameras covering every corner. Meg decides to purchase the house and moves in the very next day. That evening, they made a few adjustments. Meg acquaints herself with the home security manual and activates the security cameras, which are linked to the panic room. Afterwards, she goes to sleep. A few hours later, several men are seen lurking outside the residence. They attempt to enter, but the doors are locked. One of the intruders, Burnham, manages to break in from the ground floor. As he explores, he's startled to find Meg and Sarah sleeping. He hadn't anticipated anyone to be home. Burnham then heads downstairs to allow entry to Junior, the grandson of the previous homeowner, and Raul, a small-time criminal. Junior is agitated to learn about the unexpected occupants. While Burnham thinks they should abandon their plan, Junior asserts that they can manage, confident in Raul's ability to handle the mother and daughter. Meg, unaware of the intruders, wakes up and turns on the panic room light before heading to the bathroom. As Burnham is considering a departure, Junior stops him with the lure of substantial money inside the house. Meg, returning to her bed, finds the panic room light disturbing. Turning it off, her gaze falls upon the security monitor, which shows the intruders ascending the stairs. Realizing the danger, she dashes to awaken Sarah. The intruders spot her and give chase. Meg and Sarah narrowly evade Raul and make a break for the elevator, heading downstairs. As Junior attempts to access the elevator unsuccessfully, Sarah proposes they hide in the panic room. They make an abrupt stop, race to the room, and secure it just as Junior arrives. Inside the panic room, Meg attempts to call the police, only to remember the separate phone line isn't set up. Junior worries she might have alerted the authorities, but Burnham, familiar with the house security setup from his job, assures him the phone is disconnected. Meg, trying to deter the intruders, uses the public address system to claim the police are en route. Burnham, catching her bluff, indicates through the camera feed that he knows the phone is non-operational. Since they can't communicate directly with her, they resort to writing messages on paper, indicating that what they want is inside the panic room. Junior asserts they will release Meg and Sarah if they get what they want, but Meg remains skeptical. Junior's frustration mounts and he urges Burnham to find an entry point. However, having constructed panic rooms for years, Burnham knows it's virtually impossible to breach such a fortress. He advises that their best strategy is to coax them up. With that in mind, they proceed to seal every possible exit. Later, Junior and Raul consider accessing the room from below. Burnham dismisses this idea, emphasizing the impenetrability of the reinforced steel. In a desperate move, Burnham locates a propane gas cylinder and begins pumping a controlled amount of gas into the panic room air vents. His intention isn't to harm them, but to induce enough fear and discomfort to drive them out. As the gas fills the room, Meg and Sarah struggle to breathe. Meg attempts to seal the vents with duct tape, but to no avail. In the midst of the crisis, Meg finds a lighter and some fireproof blankets. Using these, she ignites the gas from the vent, resulting in an explosion that severely injures Junior. Seeking help, Sarah spots a small opening through which they can see a neighboring house. They flash a torch, trying to signal for assistance. Their efforts briefly awaken the neighbor, but he merely closes his blinds and returns to sleep. Spawning an opportunity on the security monitor, Meg notices the intruders are away from her bedroom. She ventures out to retrieve her cell phone from under the bed. She manages to grab the phone and retreat to the panic room just in time. Inside, she discovers there's no signal. Thinking on her feet, Meg decides to connect the cell phone to the main phone line. As she's working, Burnham grows suspicious and deduces her plan. He dashes to the basement to sever the connection 
Before he succeeds, Meg manages to dial her ex-husband, Stephen. However, before she can relay the full gravity of the situation, Raul and Burnham damage the phone line, abruptly ending the call. After enduring pain from multiple unsuccessful attempts to breach the panic room, Junior decides to abandon the heist. He considers notifying other family members about the treasure inside so he can claim it later. In a moment of carelessness, he lets slip that the safe contains far more money than he'd previously disclosed. Burnham quickly calculates the stash to be worth over $10 million. Frustrated by the revelation and the promise of a payout now slipping away, a heated exchange ensues between the two. As Junior prepares to exit, Burnham defiantly declares his intention to crack the safe and share the loot with Raoul. Undeterred, Junior opens the front door, only to be fatally shot by Raoul. At this moment, Stephen arrives. He's swiftly taken hostage by Raoul, who subjects him to a brutal assault. When Burnham attempts to intervene, Raoul holds him at gunpoint, demanding his strict obedience. Later, Burnham asks Stephen for his wallet. He discovered that the man is Meg's ex-husband, Stephen, and deduced that Meg contacted him for help. They inquire if Stephen alerted the police, but he confirms he did not. Taking him to Meg's room, Raoul violently assaults Stephen, ensuring that Meg witnesses the brutality and coercing her to open the panic room door. Suddenly, Sarah's health deteriorates due to a sharp decline in her sugar levels, causing her to have a seizure. Panicking, Meg realizes that Sarah's life-saving injections are in her bedroom. Via the security camera, Meg observes Burnham dragging an unconscious Raoul downstairs after an apparent altercation. Seizing the opportunity, she leaves the panic room to retrieve Sarah's medication. As she searches, she finds Stephen injured on her bed. Hurrying to Sarah's room for the medicine, a shocking twist is revealed. The injured man on her bed is actually Raoul, who has deceptively taken on Stephen's appearance. As Burnham re-enters the room and discovers Sarah's critical state, Meg grabs the medication and races back. However, she's met with an unforeseen obstacle in the form of Raoul, who, armed with a gun, is waiting for her. A struggle ensues, with Meg managing to toss the medicine into the panic room before being overpowered by Raoul. During the scuffle, Raoul's hand becomes trapped in the room's door. Burnham hesitates to free him, fearing Meg may have obtained Raoul's gun. Indeed, Meg brandishes the weapon demanding they let her administer Sarah's injection. Burnham negotiates he would administer the injection if Meg disarms and distances herself. Though she complies partially, she keeps the gun within reach. With Raoul freed, Meg races to catch them but arrives just moments too late. With Sarah now their hostage, they implore Meg not to contact the police. She complies. Sympathetically, Burnham administers the shot regretting the night's chaotic events. Inside the panic room, Burnham locates the safe and with precision sets to work on cracking it. Meanwhile, two police officers arrive, alerted by a call Stephen made prior to his arrival. Desperate to protect Sarah, Meg manages to convince the officers that all is well and they depart. As Burnham resumes drilling, Meg retaliates by disabling the security cameras. Though the intruders take notice, they remain unperturbed, confident with Sarah in their grasp. Burnham's persistence pays off when he breaches the safe, revealing bank bonds valued at $22 million. Intent on leaving, they exit the panic room, using Sarah as leverage. Yet, in a surprising turn of events, an armed Stephen confronts Burnham, demanding Sarah's release. As tensions escalate, Meg blindsides Raoul with a hammer, sending him crashing down a stairwell. Seizing the opportunity, Burnham flees. The injured Raoul musters the strength to return, overpowering Meg and Stephen. As he prepares to deliver a fatal blow to Meg, Burnham intervenes, fatally shooting Raoul. With police sirens in the distance, Burnham attempts to escape through the backyard. However, as he scales the walls, he's apprehended by awaiting police officers, alerted by Meg's earlier suspicious behavior. In the aftermath, Sarah and Meg, gradually recovering from their harrowing ordeal, began searching for a new home. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.